the, there was a lot of frustrations, uh, frustration over that interview, especially coming from from Serbian fans, and I I understand that frustration. They don't have any guarantees on on their long term uh, future in the Euroleague. They see the club coming from Dubai. They watch this interview, and he mentions this sugar daddy project, and then he's talking that uh, Dubai has 50 50 percent to start uh, to enter the Euroleague as soon as actually the next season. But this Dubai thing, look, I mean, it's it's. It, we can pretend all we want is just all about the money and that's it. I mean, there's no basketball in Dubai. Nobody cares about basketball in Dubai. There's no culture, there's no players, there's nothing. Like, But if they want to build a team and sign big name players, of course they can do that. So the numbers, Donatus, uh, can you, maybe we should uh, say to Ritis and he decides if it's a lot of money. So the, the rumor are is that they're giving um, 1 million per team to each team for five years and plus Euroleague is getting like additional um 50, I don't remember 50 the million. clear number like there was yeah. the, the number was uh, that I remember that is going the number for teams as I mentioned it's correct yeah. I just don't remember how much money Euroleague gets M- I think Mundo from Spain reported that it was 150 million they, they are giving th- this mm. Dubai project in total. in total and from that 150 million uh, one million per year to each team for five years. So that's like five million to each team in five years. Eight, and I think it goes teams. only for shareholders, not for all the teams. If not, not a shareholder, the you're not getting the money. Yeah. L- I'm, just, I'm not I'm not 100% sure about it because okay. we're talking about una, uh, unofficial information, but I heard that it's more related to the shareholder. Pool. Look, but if that's true... If, if, uh, is it a lot of money? No, it's not. It's a, mil- not. a million euros, it's not a lot of money. And the other thing is... You're getting a million euros basically for nothing just because you're allowing this team to join. But yeah. at the same time, this team with their financial muscle will be able to overpower you in the player's market. Like the market already is really thin. Like it's so hard to sign the best players available. And you're letting in another club that if you go for Mirotic with 2 million euros, they can easily say, I have 3 million four or five, whatever, because money to them is just a number. So, like, does it really help the league and does it really help you? You're just getting a million and euros. And let's not forget that you will have to spend money for these charter flights to Dubai. It's not it's not a re- easy destination I mean, to reach and like, you have okay, to spend quite significant money. So, so money. we're trying to promote EuroLeague, let's say, um, to Americans because of the special atmosphere we have here. Dubai has nothing. There is no basketball in Dubai. <laughs> Are we going to continue to promote the final four in Dubai and, and when that team wins the EuroLeague and how beautiful it would be to see a series between, as I said, Dubai and after five years we let in Saudi Arabian teams and, and Al Nasser and Al Shabab playing Shabab. best of five. I'm not that skeptical about Dubai as you, to be honest, because one thing is also clear that EuroLeague that we have right now, there's no future for that kind of EuroLeague as well. So they have to look for new ways what to do how to make more money how to reach new markets so i'm i'm completely sure that all these 13 shareholders they're also aware of the risks that we all mentioned uh behind this table but i think it's i mean it's easier it would be easier to evaluate evaluate the um, whole benefits of this uh, project when you see the you know the numbers the clear number the clear benefits that you're getting in the long term and the short term and then you can make your own calculations and to see how much money you're going to spend how much <coughs> money you're going to get and how it might change the uh your league so you know but, but again that's not business you're just getting money for nothing it's not like you're selling tv rights or anything like that. It's just but you don't know how it will change the TV right deals uh, for the coming big deal when you bring the what, Middle East market. How, how does Dubai influence your your TV deal? Like, I mean, it, come I think we're not specialists at it, right? I mean, let's be serious. These people get into sports because of the soft power it has. Like it's sports washing. That's what they do in football. That's what they're gonna do in basketball with less money because it, basketball doesn't require that much investment uh, as football does. Um, Saudis, uh, United Arab Emirates, none of these people are in sports because of business. It's sports washing. That's what they're doing. These clubs are not, but I mean, for Europeans, for the early, I think it's 
it's an opportunity to that they have it, to it's just a cheap advertisement for dubai as a city as a new economic financial center for people to go to and 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 it's just advertising dubai another way to do that for them it's a cheap advertisement that's it we're talking about business there's no business in here man come on let's be let's be I don't serious know. i know i mean i think that your league as i mentioned they have to consider all the options and this is the option that brings them something new and it, it cannot continue yeah, it brings like them that. easy so, money 